guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today we're talking about speedy bags. So Louis Vuitton speedy bags and you guys can see I have three of them here in different sizes because I love Louis Vuitton speedy bags. Um, I mean, I think this is one of the very well-known bag among the luxury community. Um, you know, if you're into luxury goods at all, you probably know the Speedy Bag. They are famous for their, um, uh, you know, their long history and their um, just simplistic, long-lasting, timeless design. So personally, uh, if you follow my channel and watch my bag collection video, the size 30 is actually probably my very first real luxury handbag. It's gifted to me by my dad. Um, when I turned 18 and at the time I actually at the store I refused to get this bag because I thought it was crazy to spend I believe at the time was like $600 something plus tax on a handbag and then he insisted and of course he knows best because I end up using this bag to death I still do now till this day it's one of my most used bag uh, of all time really like of all time because if you count cost per wear this is probably down to like 25 cents or 10 cents a day I think at this point because I literally carried it all the time since I got it I didn't know quite know like I kind of just like if we already paid for it we should use it in my mind I wasn't really thinking to preserve the value or anything like that because anyways I just didn't know better right so at the time used it to death uh, use it to travel I accidentally poured nail polish on top of it a little bit um, and I have removed it with acetone, pretty sure, but it left it some stains. Uh, when I got our puppy, the puppy went on the handle a little bit, so there's puppy chew. So it has so many, so much history with me, this bag. And it's such, um, it's kind of a precious bag for me. And, you know, I'm amazed that to this day I still use it. I use it as a diaper bag. Um, this one is 05, so 2005. Or is it 2000? Oh, sorry, 2008. Yeah, so 2008, uh, made in 2008. I actually didn't even know to read this code um, for the longest time until more recently when I got into these things. The I'll just do a quick like wear and tear of the bag. So I did try to um, clean the vachetta leather a little bit, which I I think I could have done a better job, like use better products and actually condition it better. I washed it, I cleaned it and just used regular leather condition and still doesn't bring back the natural um, oil, which I'll do a comparison. Like if you look at the handle on the Speedy 40, look how beautiful the patina is and it has a really nice shine to the handle, which this one doesn't no longer have. Um, I think if I use it more or if I condition more, maybe I could bring some of it back, but you know, it's what it is right now. The handle got so used that it was like completely black, which I almost felt embarrassed using it. After I clean it, I mean, the, the color evened out a little bit, but like I said, it just lost the shine of the natural leather. The tabs look fine because they used to be more like this way anyways. I either clean the, I also clean the side tab. So everything it's intact, even the the zipper tag is still on there, but it's, it's you know, I feel like it's maybe got another year or two and it might come off if I use it too often. So I do try to use um, pull on the metal part instead of uh, the, the tab for sure. But that, again, wasn't something I was um, considering in the past. I just like do whatever I want with a bag, I throw it around. And even with all that, all that, like, you know, beating it up and all that use, um, the corners are still okay. There's one corner, this one, a piece of a cheddar, a piece of canvas uh, fell off. I'm not sure, probably hit something. And um, the other ones are totally fine. There are some cracks along the zipper line. I just noticed some more recently. But again, I don't feel like it's getting worse or anything like that. It's still what it is. And the one thing that amazes me the most is the zipper still runs so nicely and smoothly. It runs better than most of my other newer bags, to be honest. Like, I so I, I still love using this bag. I Right now, I added a, um, a bag organizer inside with diapers and things like that. And 
if you guys don't already know it's just one big pocket in brown lining which I think is the perfect color because it really keeps it back really clean I, like there's nothing in there uh, no no real major wear and then there is this pocket here which some uh, vintage pieces do have stickiness in here but these this one is totally fine I don't actually use it quite a lot anymore I think I used to put like change and random stuff in the small pocket again like I said I've had it since I was 18 and I'm not gonna reveal to you guys how old I am now you might be able to guess but like like definitely my most used bag I've traveled with it I went to you know I went through school with it actually I went through high school sorry not high school university with this bag because it carries tons it can definitely carry like my most of my books and notebook and things like that so super super useful and not to mention how easy it is to pair with any of your outfit like I just had no problem using this bag with anything I wear um, because the color is quite neutral and classic and timeless. I, um, I've i always loved monogram but again like my, my love for it obviously, obviously uh, is more now since I've gotten into the whole whole bag thing so so. Um, I can't really say anything bad about it other than the fact that it doesn't have a shoulder strap and of course you have that bandolier version that you can purchase. However, I don't regret not buying that version because I do find the uh, Speedy 30. I should have mentioned that this is a Speedy 30. When you put a strap on it, it does feel a little too bulky to be a crossbody bag. And if you don't know already, this is the 16 millimeter um, monogram strap. Every time I do a video with a strap, people ask me what it is, like where did I get it. It is from the Louis Vuitton website. I think they have been re recently discontinued. Um, but I think you can definitely still find them on the pre-loved market. And I think they, they will bring something similar back. So it does have adjustable holes, seven of them. And you can basically use it on any of your monogram bag, which I find it really handy. So this would be how it looks like as a crossbody. I have been using it like this just because I like with baby stuff it's more convenient sometimes for me to do it as a crossbody. But um, and I do like it a bit shorter to be honest. Like so it sits on a little higher. This is actually at the, at the longer length because I've been using it with the mini speedy these days. So this is how it is as a crossbody. It works fine if it's not too heavy. If it is very, very heavy, you're risking pulling off the handle on the Speedy 30. But, you know, I uh, really, really love the bag. Um, I have seen so many of these bags now that I can tell you guys at the end um, some of the pros and, and some of the issues to look out for if you're looking to purchase it vintage. So, so this one, as I mentioned, is from 2008. This one here, my most recent edition, super, super cute. I actually been using it um, lately. Yeah, you're doing so well. Um, it's so tiny, but it's like, super cute. You can just grab, use it on a handle, like a little, little cute handbag. And, or you can add a strap to it and use it like a crossbody, then which will look somewhat similar to a Nano Speedy. This is actually the Mini Speedy HL, which is slightly smaller than the um, Nano Speedy. And you guys can check out my video unboxing video where I shared how much it can hold. So this is different than your usual, you know, like useless micro bags because this can actually hold all your daily essentials, including your phone. So I think not only that it's cute and like little dainty bag, but it's also an actual like bag that you can use. Um, which I find it really really cool. I've been meaning to clean up the hardware on this bag I just haven't had time, but uh, I've used it regardless the patina on this. It's beautiful has Like that shine I was talking about It's a little darker than um, Some of the other like it's a little darker than I one shade darker than I would like but regardless I think the condition is really good given the the price on this bag um, this one does not have any internal pocket, just again one tiny pocket, one pocket that still holds quite a bit. And this one, oh there she is, this one is from the year 1997. Okay, let me get her, I'll be right back. Okay, so we got a little guest. I think I can finish without, um, 
Yeah? No? Can we finish it? Yeah, okay. So, like I said, this one is actually like really useful little bag and you can easily attach any kind of strap really you can t attach a generic vachetta strap on the uh, on the little speedy bag and use it as a crossbody which that's what I've been using as you can tell the zipper tag has fall off but again it the good thing is it does have a metal part to it so you can still use a zipper no problem uh, like so this is the year 97 and that's 2008 so you can see the general condition of the two bag is essentially the same if you look at the hardware it's very much kind of similar level of tarnish um, but again like I said I don't baby this bag whatsoever it's been through rain it's been through snow like you know like anything so the hardware looks similar in terms of wear and but if you look at the detail of the hardware these little ones they actually have the letter LV on it I don't know if the focus will come through but uh, on the little buttons whereas the bigger one speedy 30 actually has the whole Louis Vuitton written on it so definitely depending on the year when it's made the there are very like there are small details that would change between um, between different versions and depending on the sizing <clears throat> and then last but not least uh, this one it's a vintage peach piece which I've um, purchased maybe about a year ago now I bought this and I actually ended up giving it to my mom for a while but she didn't use it so I ended up taking it back and using it more because I use this bag as um, a weekend bag every time I visit her basically and it's the next size up the 45 is actually your smallest size uh, keyboard bandolier so the travel speedy bag um, so this is a size 40 so just one one step smaller and it's uh, I think personally think it's more than enough um, as a weekend bag or even to be used as a travel bag I I think this could be a very good travel um, option for some people of course the the big part uh, about it is that you don't have that um, a crossbody strap but again you can yet you can add a strap to it um, but it's not ideal when it's being attached to the to the hardware here the truth is once you filled up a 40 or 45 with all the stuff it's getting a bit too heavy to be carried on the shoulder anyways so I feel like with speedy the design of speedy really logically it should be carried on the handle and that's why their handle design are more sturdy and that's that's how they're intended to be used in my opinion I feel like the bandolier is a later later version that you know even with a strap I'm not sure some people might might totally um, disagree with me and and think they use the strap version all the time but I'm a huge fan of the strapless speedy <laughs> so um, that's just kind of what what um, that's all all my back here and if I want in some cases when I do use a strap it still works fine for me so um, let me talk about in terms of purchase so if you don't already have a speedy which I feel like almost everybody have a speedy and of course you don't always love it some people probably have it for a while and decide to let go because it doesn't fit their lifestyle some people just always need to wear a crossbody instead of using a top handle bag and that's totally fine but if you are looking to add a speedy to your collection and uh, you can definitely buy from the boutique which is I think upward of 2000 something now um, which I think it's fine for a handbag but also if you want like just a very good um, piece of speedy I would actually recommend to buy vintage because vintage definitely will have better make uh, they're better made to be honest um, when they're the older bags are you really better made and uh, you can actually find a really really good condition vintage for maybe seven hundred eight hundred dollar um with very beautiful patina on them and you know like you're really not losing anything uh there except that it wouldn't be a bag from the boutique a few things to look out for when you're purchasing vintage you can see their range from three hundred dollar upward to like fifteen hundred but there's a reason to that right so um the color of like the patina the vachetta if they have start to have like watermarks um it will show and they're like they're permanent you can revert that 
and then often the zipper tab is the place to look at if the zipper tag is gonna fall off. So this one here is in really good condition. The tarnish on the hardware is another thing to look for. Uh, one big thing I would say, the biggest part when you are buying vintage is to make sure the handle are still very well um, maintained. So if the vachetta is dry and is cracking, you're risking the handle falling off from the Speedy and once that's done, you have no option but to take it to the store to repair, which will probably cost you more than the actual bag because um, a repair from Louis Vuitton to change the vachetta is actually quite pricey on the Speedy bags. So that's if you're deciding to go to vintage, I would say, you know, um, have reasonable idea to budget and then make sure you look out for those things when you are um, when you are buying them. And there are lots of counterfeit on the market, so do your research to make sure you're getting the authentic bag. Um, another good uh, trick or another good thing you can try out is to do eBay bid bidding. So um, a lot of Japanese sellers, they will put these for bidding and sometimes you can actually find a really good uh, condition bag and you can bid a really nice price on it. So that's another way to score one of these bags. So personally, like I said, among all of these, I still think the size 30 is the most um, practical and my most used bag for sure. But lately, my favorite would be this little mini bag because again, it's not really just for practical reasons, but it's a really nice bag to just like, just to have. And you can like use it for a day and tonight, I kind of think. And then, you know, just a little cute piece to add and so timeless and, you know, classic. Uh, I think that's all for today. I hope, you know, this one, this video will convince you to add a speedy to your collection. Of course, they don't have to be in the monogram, but that's just my favorite. And let me know what you guys think. And um, if you have any questions or comment, reach out to me on Instagram or leave a comment below and I'll try to answer them. Thanks again for watching. Bye.